So I'm currently at a park. Doesn't matter where you are. You could be in your house, at the gym, wherever. This will be beneficial for you and the growth of your upper pec 100%. Now ignore wannabe Six Flags behind me. I'm uh, roller coasters, Denver, Colorado. Ignore it. It's 99 degrees. Super great. Anyways, what we're gonna be doing? I'm at the park. We're gonna be focusing on this upper chest, but in a, a different way, a much different way than you've ever done it before. Now, as you know, I've been doing body weight training for a very, very long time. Right now, I'm stepping on stage for my bodybuilding competition. Boom, 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 next level. So what I've been doing is really focusing on bodybuilding movements, weights and stuff, uh, just because I wanted to try it. I wanted to, to, to recognize a, a different philosophy and understanding and strategy and structure, but that has not taken anything away from my body weight training and the movements that I know and that I love and I love to teach about. So. In this video, we're not only gonna talk about the body weight movement, but at the end, we're gonna go into the gym and show you the weighted movement so you can kind of figure out a little bit for yourself which one you wanna do or if you can incorporate both in a superset. So, let's jump on over here. If you have any type of a bench, anything, you have that bench right here, you have this right here, a little stoop, whatever it is, it will work, I promise you, I promise you. So, the movement of your upper chest, anything that's gonna be going into flexion, especially if you're in a supinated grip, is going to be great for the upper chest. Watch it as it moves. Boom. You notice, right? Now watch how my muscle changes when I go to a pronated grip. So, one of them is going to be a little bit more focused on the anterior delt, and a little bit more bicep, of course, because you're in this movement here. Another, when you go here, it's gonna be a little bit less bicep, more tricep, a little bit more anterior delt and upper pec, okay? So we're gonna do both different variations so you can really understand it and incorporate it into your training. So, let's just grab this stoop for example, okay? So, sorry for the screaming moms behind me, the, the, the kids running away. So, <laughs> actually they're chasing over birds. So, what we're gonna do is go into like a, uh, a straddled stance, right? A little bit wider, okay? Your hand is gonna be in a supinated position here. This is gonna be the first variation. A little bit closer to the ground, that's completely fine, or it could be a little bit higher up, whatever uh, is beneficial to you. And you're gonna stick your butt out and bend your knees slightly and tighten in your core. Look how I'm tightening in my core. It's not just like, like this and I'm just coming down, it's breathing into my stomach and then squeezing into making sure that my whole entire rectus spinae around my spine and everything is secure so it can focus on that upper chest. I'm serious, it makes a huge, huge difference. I'm shredded for a reason, not the diet. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, we're gonna be here, we're gonna keep our chin tucked. So we're gonna come down here, and you can see how my, my elbow is just bent a little bit, right? That's completely fine. You'll notice once you start bending over more and more, you have more stress on that area. You'll feel it, okay? And all you're gonna do, is come down, about your, your elbow is gonna be coming towards your knee almost, or towards your hip, right in here. And you're gonna come right back up, but straight towards, your, your head's gonna be going straight towards your shoulder, okay? So again, you're gonna be coming down, and then it's coming straight back here, okay? Then you're gonna come up, down, and straight back here. Another variation that you could be doing is just switch your grip around right here and you'll see a difference as you go down. So you come down and you come in right up here. Come down and right straight across here. Now I do suggest that you're, you're keeping it at high volume. It can be as tough as you want it to be. It's all about time under tension, how much stress are you putting on that area and really focusing focusing on that upper pec. Look, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. That's why this is easy and very simple and efficient. It does work. Look, I'm already pumped. You can see how pumped I am. That's a really close camera. That's super close. <laughs> Anyways, so that's, that's one of the movements. Now you can also do it on a bench a little bit higher. This is a little bit different. You wanna go right over here to show them? So you'll see, because this is so much higher than that, you get a different effect from it. It's a different type of tension. Remember, when you're working with body weight training, the tension is completely different with the resi like the resistance, the amount of resistance that, that's involved, is completely different according to variation and different levers and all these different things. Uh, how much leverage you have, it's, it's attributed to so much, how quick you are, how, how much time under tension you're, you're providing. So, check this right here. Come in here, and I'm gonna come down, 
boom, this is really, really hard, and then coming straight back. This is even harder. Honestly, this is even harder than coming down. So, and right back, and then straight back up. And there you have it. There you have it. That is the body weight movement. Now this next movement that you're seeing on the screen is in the gym. And all I'm doing right here is having a V-bar. So it's a V-bar, it's attached to a cable. And all you wanna be doing is making sure that your knees are slightly bent, shoulder width apart, and it's coming from under in the middle of your legs. And as you're coming up, you're squeezing as hard as possible. Look at this right now. You're squeezing as hard as possible and coming right back down, okay? So keep an eye on how your spine is. Look at how I'm doing it. It's very controlled. It's not supposed to be a crazy heavy movement. It's not supposed to be super light. A very good resistance will be required here. And you're gonna be doing, again, three to four sets. I recommend four sets and supersetting it either with a machine, a great machine, an incline machine, that's completely fine, or you could do incline flies. And this is great to really develop the entire, entire shoulder capsule to upper chest and even, well, I don't want to say inner chest because when you're working your chest, you're working your fucking chest. Just want to remind you. So as you see these movements, I'm going from one to the next without any rest. So there you have it. You have the body weight movement and then you have the weights. Either or, four sets is great. Four sets is great. And supersetting it with something is also great. So if you're doing those type of push-ups here on the bench, I do recommend going into maybe a pike push-up. So a pike push-up is just like this, right here. And right back up. And right back up. Work your, work your entire shoulder capsule. Why the hell not? Anyways, that's what I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, that was really, really exciting. I'm glad to be showing you a little bit more bodyweight training stuff as I am competing and getting ready to step on stage and all of that. So again, sorry for Six Flags. Like, they're really trying hard. They're trying super hard. It's just not working for out for them. Uh, <laughs> Denver, Colorado is incredible. I have a lot of really cool things that are, that are in the works and developing. I've been working with a huge team. We have 15 people on the team of Create You, and we have a lot of influencers. Create You Nutrition launching July 30th, and then we're launching once again at the Olympia. Can't tell you why I'm going to the Olympia. Can't tell you what we're doing there. Probably an event party. Just told you. Um, but it's super, super exciting. And for the people that are staying around and sticking with me, I appreciate you. Appreciate you greatly. You're the ones that keep everything going. That keep the engine roaring. And I thank you again one more time greatly. Appreciate you. Anyways, thanks for tuning in for another video. It's your boy B. Myers. Taylor's right behind the camera. Taylor is he's gonna be competing. I'm super excited for that. Uh, August 3rd, August 3rd. 15 days, whatever this video, I don't know when this is being released. But uh, yeah, if you want any more videos, comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the, the, the freaking podcast. Every Tuesday and every Friday we have a new podcast. We're talking about so many crazy things, like, gotta get with that. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace!